My name is Li Ning. I'm a senior software engineer in AWS. In this session, I will introduce TorchServe CPP backend. Today, I will cover these topics. First, introduce our team. Answer why we build the CPP backend. What's the change in architecture? And then deep dive the CPP backend internal, give a demo and a benchmark result. TorchServe is an open source project jointly developed by AWS and Meta. These are members for CPP backend project. Why CPP backend? There is a high production demand for lower model loading latency, reducing GPU memory usage, improving GPU utilization concurrency, and even request embed torch serve in edge device. However, it is difficult to support these requirements in Python backend due to Python language limitation. So we decided to build a CPP backend to better serve torch serve community. Now let's see what's the change in torch serve architecture introduced by the CPP backend. Left side picture is TorchServe original architecture. It is a Java front-end and a Python back-end worker process. On the right side picture, we can see back-end extended to support C++ worker process. Java front-end is not only able to connect with a Python worker process, but also able to connect with a CPP worker process. Let's deep dive CPP backend internal. As same as Python backend, CPP backend is divided into multiple layers. Top layer is socket to communicate with Java frontend. Second layer is service management, which is responsible for request response, encoding, decoding, and dispatching the requirements. Third layer is common backend API to support different machine learning plugin. By default, TorchServe provide TorchScript backend. The bottom layer is machine learning platform handler API for customer model loading, pre-processing, and inference. The bottom two layers are highly related to TorchServe users as same as Python backend. I will explain them one by one. The common backend API layer defines three virtual functions for different machine learning platform to plug in. Function initialize is for machine learning platform initialization. Function load model internal is used to implement model loading in different machine learning platform. Function predict is used to implement prediction in different machine learning platform. TorchScript backend is the default CPP backend. As same as the Python backend handler, CPP backend has default base handler implementation, but the users can override it. Function initialize it Use, is used for model initialization. Function load model is used for model loading. Function pre-post process is used for model pre and post processing. Function inference is used to call model to run prediction. CPP backend maintains the same behave as Python backend to allow users to build a model MAR file by using model archival command. For example, users is able to use TorchScript base handler to build a model MAR file. User is also able to build a customer handler dynamic library and then wrap it in model MAR file by using model archival command. Finally, Users are able to load model and run prediction 
by using same REST API or gRPC API as Python backend. Let's take a look at a demo. This is a CPP backend user menu page. To save time, I already installed the code. This is a CPP backend common API links. This is a TouchScript base handler API links. Let's see two use cases to build the model my file. First, I'm, I'm using TouchScript base handler to build the model my file and move the model my file into the model store. Second, I'm going to using customer handler dynamic library and uh, wrap it into model my file. Now I'm moving the model my file into model store. Let's start the torch serve. We can see the two models are loaded. And then we run the model inference. This is a model text classification by using script tokenizer benchmark result. The model size is about 1.9 gigabytes. The first picture shows model loading latency is reduced about 25%. The P90 and the P99 inference latency also reduced. When the batch size is 1, the P99 latency re is reduced about 10%. With the batch size increasing, the gap between CPP and the Python backend is reduced. These are the GitHub links for TouchServe and the CPP backend. Please try and give us feedback. Thank you.